Recently, or at least this year, we lost Daniel Dennett, philosopher yes. Daniel Dennett. I recently learned, I didn't read all of his books, I read some of them. Uh, he declared that Darwin's evolution by natural selection was the greatest idea anybody ever had. He's coming to it not as a biologist, but as a philosopher. So how do you reflect on that declaration? He said that at the beginning of his book, uh, Darwin's Dangerous Idea, and his point was that uh, before Darwin came along, it seemed obvious to everyone that big complicated things like humans and oak trees and things had to have a, an, an explanation in terms of design. And it was a huge stroke of insight for Darwin to see that it didn't, that the laws of physics alone could produce this prodigious amount of complexity, filtered through this odd process of natural selection. To me, it's always been strange that it took so long, that it took until the middle of the 19th century for Darwin and Wallace, and even maybe one or two other people. This is thousands of years of thought. Of, yes, and, and brilliant when, people have come before. Aristotle could have could have had it and didn't. I mean, when you think how much cleverer you had to be to do what Newton did, uh, or, or Leibniz, um, inventing calculus, um, working out about the laws of how how, how gravity. The, the Newton finger puppet here. <laughs> okay, yeah. um, you'd think that somebody would have t tumbled to evolution by natural selection before the middle of the 19th century, yet they didn't. 